am i audible to everyone yes sir okay so good afternoon to everyone we will be starting with the uh, next module we have done with the first module now we are in the urge to understand the different data models okay so today we'll be seeing some of the data models some data models uh, when uh, as as it is a, they are the part of the syllabus we have to uh, understand them but they are still not used they are obsolete now okay but we should understand what were the draw drawbacks uh, in those data models and uh, how the other data models have been evolved so is my screen visible now yes sir okay <clears throat> so we'll be talking about the data mo models you can just write down the heading in your register data models so this is model number 2 data models now in this chapter you will be able to understand why data models are important okay we will first see what are uh, what do you mean by data model then why these data models are important then we will understand the basic data modeling building blocks okay the it is actu actually the pictorial view in uh, pictorial view hum bol sakte hai ya fir you can say the table uh, you know the table we have already seen the table in the relational uh, re relational model okay so it is a graphical view of a table you can say you can say the tree uh, structure you can say uh, uh, you know the graph structure so when you see one by one the different different models you will be able to understand the concepts then what business rules are and how they affect database design okay to aapke syllabus mein ye bhi hai ki business rules okay and how they affect your database design and how the major data models are evolved okay the evolution of data models is also important so we will see what do you mean by the importance of data model okay now uh, in the simple language in the simple language if i have to tell you what are the data models or how will you define the data model the de data model means uh, actually it is a concept of tools you can write down this it is the concept of tools that are developed that are developed to summarize to summarize i un please underline the word summarize the description of the database summarize the description of the database now let me give an example see when you go to buy flat okay you may be interested to buy 2 bhk or 3 bhk and if you are now you have finalized that i will go for under construction okay you have a chop you have an option whether to go for a uh, under construction or to go for a, uh, a resale flat okay now as far as resale flat is there you have a choice you can directly go and see the uh, you know the flat okay and depending upon uh, the other uh, uh you know uh, uh, the other things you will, you can finalize the flat what i mean to say that in the resale flat the flat is already available for you to see now under the construction flat under the construction flat you do not have the actual flat uh, flat to see okay you have the other information like there would be you know 23 uh, story building will be there there would be four wings okay and uh, uh the flats are available on so and so floor the flats are sold uh, sold out for at uh, so and so floor at so and so wing so what i mean to say that the flats are not actually available for you to see the flat so they will be able to show you the flat that is called as a sample flat so so the sample flat would be available on the first floor okay or if uh, they haven't started with the sample flat also they can just show you the model they will be able to show you the model now this model can be correlated with the uh, data model okay now this model if you go, if you are buying the flat under construction the uh, the architecture or the builder would be able to show you the model 
now in the model you will be able able to see where actually will be the uh, entrance where will be the uh, what what would be the size of the hall the dimension of the size of the hall then where would be the other bedrooms and other uh, and other amenities okay so this model will be giving you the you know you can summarize the description of the total flat or in short you will be able to summarize the description of the whole uh, you know the project the whole project the same thing applies here also in the data model it is the concept of tools that are developed to summarize the description of the database we summarize the description of the data means means what in the database what entities you have taken how these entities are shown okay in the database what attributes you have taken how these attributes are uh, related with the entities okay how many domains you have taken okay so everything is available in the summary in in the form of uh, you know summary in the form of summary okay so agar main kisi ko data model batata hu that person would be able to uh, uh, would be able to uh, you know visualize or will get an idea that these particular model contains what what parameters what what attributes what are the different fields okay how many records are there record means the rows okay so everything can be summarized in a given data model okay so data model definition is important which will give you the summary the which will summarize the description of the database actually it gives an idea that how the final system will look like model aapko ye nahi batata pura system nahi batata lekin it will give an idea that how the final system will look like after the complete implementation now the now the implementation has not be yet been done just we are studying the data model once we are finalizing and we are, once we are getting the idea then we will actually see that how this model will look like after its complete imp, uh, implementation so that thing is also important okay how the model will look like how the model will look like look like after underline the word after its complete implementation after its complete implementation after its complete implementation okay now here it will also define how the logical structure of a database is modeled okay so logically also logically or the logical structure the data the data model will also give you the understanding of the logical structure to hum jab database model or data model hum padhenge that time you will be able to understand the logical structure okay so the data model is collection of conceptual tools for describing the data the data relationship so in general in general will be able to understand what you will be able to understand one Two, three, four, and five. So you'll be able to understand the model is about what data. You'll be able to understand the relation or the data relationship. The data relationships. You'll be able to understand the data semantics. What is the dictionary meaning of semantics? Can any one of you tell me? Semantics. dictionary meaning yes the fourth one is consistency constraints so total there are four are there am i audible to everyone <coughs> am i audible to everyone yes sir so in short the data model will give us or it is a collection of conceptual tools for describing 1 2 3 4 will be able to describe the data the data relationship the data semantics and the consistency constraints okay so this thing we will see when we talk about the models but these are the four important parameters which will be able to explain by any of the data model any of the data model okay now it describes the design of a database of each level of data abstraction this is also important we are still understanding what do you mean by data model there is one more point addition of one more point 
it describes it describes the design the design of a database of a database at each level of data abstraction underline the words level of data abstraction already we have studied already we have we, we have studied this level of data abstraction okay so we have studied uh, external schema then uh, uh, the logical one and the physical one so at every level we'll be able to describe the design of a database this is also important okay at physical level ke baad mein what we have we have the disk where the actual the database is stored at the bottom size please visualize jo main bata raha hu i am talking about the levels of abstraction at the bottom size we have disk or actual the storage where the database is stored but above that we have physical we have logical and we have external okay so at these levels also we can be able to describe the design of a database okay so this is uh, these are these are the different different you know the uh, sentences which are used to describe the data model okay now one important thing also we should not forget data model it also defines how data is connected to each other how data data is connected to each other and how they are processed again underline the word processed and stored inside the system inside the system inside the system okay how the data is connected to each other so uh, during the explanation of the data model you will be able to see the relations uh, relationship okay between the different different attributes and how they are processed how they are processed and stored inside the system so these two words are also important to define the data model okay how they are processed and stored inside the system okay so with this understanding we will proceed further to understand the types of data model okay so whatever is explained here that is that is already have explained you we will see the different different types of data model okay so business rules everything we will see after one yes this is the evolution of a data models and actually these are the types of data models which are uh, which are there in your syllabus or we have to understand them in detail okay evolution of data model the first data model which was evolved initially it is called as hierarchical model uske baad aaya tha network model and these two are obsolete now they are not used these two are absolute after the network model you have a relational model and then you have entity relationship and then the last one is object oriented but most of the time and you know 99% relational model is used most of the time relational model is used okay most of the time relational model is used just a minute huh? so we have hierarchical and network which are the which are the models which are evolved during older days and then they are now obsolete we are mostly using the relational model then we will see what is the entity relationship model that is also called as er model this is also called as er model so for this we have a separate uh, you know model for this to understand the er model and the last one is object oriented the last one is object oriented so we will say them yes i am not going to explain this this is just an evolution of major data models you can just go through this okay this table just give you 
the generation first second third fourth and the next generation and the timeline and the timeline and you know previous to hierarchy model uh, while explaining you um, in my first lecture i have told you that before dbms the data we are stored in the form of file system so sabse pehle tha file system aur file system ke baad baki ki cheez baki ke models hai okay so models in the first one it it was the file system okay and these are the some examples and the comments and the comments and the comments okay so this thing you can just i will share this ppt in the classroom and you can just go through this okay so we will start with the first one that is the hierarchical model so please write down everyone the first one is hierarchical model so this is the first one okay so we will see the drawbacks and how the other models have been evolved from the hierarchical model now this is the tree like structure this is a tree like structure tree like structure that means the database is represented in the form of tree like okay the data uh, the database is shown in the form of a tree like structure okay in this tree like structure you know you have a root node and from the root node you have the par uh, you have actually the root node is also called as a parent node and from this root node or parent node you have children nodes okay so one parent node okay and from there you have many children you have many children so i can just show you i can just show you you have a root node which is also called as a parent node which is also called as a parent node and from this parent node there are children nodes okay so let me give an example if you have <clears throat> if you want to show the database of a student okay so in the database of a student okay there are there are three attributes okay i'm talking about the database of a student from a college so each student is defined or described by three attributes the first attribute is shown by the student id the next one is shown by the student name and the third one is age the third one is age okay so here i am just showing you the an example to explain you the hierarchical model so here suppose student id is 1 2 3 the name is suppose x y z and the age is suppose 23 this age is suppose 23 then there is a second student with the name as abc uh, the student id is suppose uh, 2 2 and 2 and the age is suppose 24 there is one more student with the student id as 4 2 1 name as suppose uh, abc we have done so x uh, x y so we will take e f g e f g and the age is suppose 25 now i try to understand the root uh, now hier hier uh, hierarchical model means what it is a tree like structure in which there is a one root node that is a parent node now here parent node you can consider as a college or any institute or it, in a better way instead of taking a college we will take a department we will take a department so in this department suppose i am taking an example of a three student now see here in this three student what i am doing this is connected this is related with one subject course now the first attribute is your uh, you will say course number or course id 
and the second attribute is for course name course name okay course name so suppose course id is 1 2 and the course name is suppose uh, uh, i will just give the course name suppose uh, dbms second for second student there the student is having two courses now the student thing is having two courses with the same attribute as course id and the course name here also course id and course name suppose here course id is 13 and this is 14 and suppose here the subject is uh, is different suppose it is a microprocessor okay and here you have some other uh, course okay which is not the same as dbms and uh, microprocessor okay so this student will also take one course with the course id here is 15 okay and here suppose uh, uh, ab and this is cd the course name now if you see carefully these three students are taking different different subjects as a course course id 12 13 14 and 15 now here the thing is that this is the relation where with the relation is called as one to many relation one to many relation this is called as one to many relation one to many relation it means that the child should have only one parent the child should have only one parent okay what does it mean if i'm taking this as a child it is having only one parent this as a child this is having only one parent this child is having only one parent this course is having only one parent this course is having only one parent this course is also having one parent this course is also having one parent okay so the one to many relationships between nodes can be seen here okay so every child should have only one parent and that is a drawback of the hierarchy model okay one child should have only one parent one child should have have only one parent but that is not the other way because this student this student has taken the dbma subject so only one course can be taken by one student mu p is taken by this but nowhere the other this mu p subject is taken by other student the other course is also taken by this and the fourth course that is 15 is taken by this so every unique course is taken by the student that means 13 is taken by only this and 14 is only taken by this no other stu student has taken this that means only one child should have only one parent that is the case here that is the case here and that was the major drawback in this hierarchical model that was the main draw drawback in the hierarchical model this drawback was overcome in the network model Ab network model mein kya tha? in the network model let me give an example if i'm taking a1 as the root node followed by two child node b1 and b2 now this b1 also has three child or three children this is c1 this is c2 and this is c3 okay but now this child c3 also is having two parents b1 as well as b2 b1 as well as b2 so b2 has c3 it also has c4 it also has c5 if i take if i take the continuation of this c1 is having only one child that is a d1 but there is one child d2 which are having two parents c2 and c3 c2 and c3 okay so that was possible in network model that was possible in network model and your network model is actually the extension of your hierarchical model in this hierarchical model we were showing by the tree like structure tree like structure here we are showing in the form of graph like structure so this is a graph like structure this is a graph like structure graph like structure so can i comment one child can have more than one parent node 
in network model which was the drawback in the hierarchical model yes or no do you, do you understand this the difference between the hierarchical model and the network model yes sir. so we so in the network model it was that we can have more than one parent node we, we the the child can have more than one parent so that was possible in the network model that was possible in the network model okay so let me go to the uh, this one the hierarchical model here important thing is that every course are unique and every course is taken that means no single course is taken by more than one student mera kehne ka kya matlab tha ki a child should not have or the child should have only one parent iska matlab kya hai in terms of course and student ki no course should be taken by more than one student so dbms is taken by this uh sorry uh, course code 12 is taken by this student course number 13 is taken by this student course number 14 is taken by two uh, by this state uh, student course number 15 is taken by this student so you, if you see carefully no course is taken by more than one student uska matlab hota hai ki child should have only one parent child should have only one parent i hope you have understood this i hope you have understood this shall we proceed further yes sir okay so we have seen the two models till now we will proceed to the next model we will proceed to the next model now the next model is your relational data model which already we have studied relational data model relational data model relational data model now i will not take this in detail already we have studied this okay i will just show you i will just show you the ppt so this is also ppt i'm going to share see the hierarchical model i have taken with some different example here also it shows the different model they have mentioned siblings you can say siblings or child one and the same thing uh, this is a specific example uh, of a supplier and the product line okay then this is a network model can you see the uh, can you see the uh, the difference between the network as well as the hierarchical model here child is having two parents okay so i was talking about yes just a minute i will take an example for this relational model yes yes see here now is my screen visible to everyone meri screen visible hai sabko yes sir yes to ye cheez humne already padhi hai this is not new okay already we have studied this what we have studied these are called as fields or they are called as attributes these are called as rows or they are called as a tuple or they are called as a records each value in the row sorry each value in the column is called as a domain and the type of domain is uni uh, is specified that means the domain for this particular attribute salary is a integer you cannot have a string department type is a string you cannot have a uh, uh, integer 
okay so already we have studied this so this is a example of a relational model okay so here you will be able to understand that this is a table the data is stored in various tables the data is are stored in a various tables okay so this is a tabular data uh, you can say these are called as a tables okay and important thing in the relation model is entity entity is important entity is nothing but the name of the table now actually if you see this carefully this is the uh, department name then salary i think this is a table for uh, for the teacher teacher id the name of the teacher then you can say the department from which the teacher belongs to and the salary of the teacher oh sorry it is already mentioned here at the downside instructor table yes so here instructor is entity instructor is entity because uh, we are talking about this table is talking about the instructor so entity here is the instructor the entity is the instructor please try to understand that you uh, uh, you will be having the confusion what do you mean by entity entity means the table which describes about some entity the table which will describes about some entity okay so here the entity is your instructor because the table is uh, will uh, showing the uh, different different attributes for the instructor and you can see the relationship between different different entities for example if i take the example of this so relationship kya hai i am talking about uh, the instructor gold and uh, his or her uh, id is 33456 and the he or she belongs to physics department and the salary is 87000 so that is the relationship shown in the table form so this is called as a relational model this is called as a relational model and everything i think we have studied about this relational model so nothing more we have to understand this just we have to understand what do you mean by entity and the table entity and the table any question related with the relational model any question related with the relational model no sir okay now we will proceed further ab tak humne hierarchy ka model dekha humne network model dekha humne relational data model dekha now we are going to understand the next model that is er model er model okay so we will see what do you mean by er model <coughs> entity relational relational model or relationship model in short it is said as er model in short it is said as er model entity relationship model now this is actually the high level data model diagram this is actually shown by the high level data model diagram okay now this data model er is actually will give you the relationship between two entities now i hope you have understood the meaning of entity now when the relationship ship is is shown by using the diagram between the two entities then it is called as entity relationship model then it is called as entity relationship model okay so this describes the structure of a database with the help of diagram known as er diagram so we are going to see er er diagram we are going to see er diagram er model and to describe this database with the help of a diagram then we have er diagram then we have er diagram okay now to understand this er diagram we have to understand the different uh, you know uh Uh, what what do you say uh, that uh, we can say that this er diagram will have three important uh, parameters the three important parameters these parameters are entities attributes and the relationship and the relationship so entities attributes and the relationship 
you are familiar with the word entity you are familiar with the word attributes you are familiar with the word relationship so the relationship between uh, the relationship shown between the entities by their attributes is called as er diagram is is known as er diagram so just for your understanding just for your understanding if i have to define what do you mean by entity your entity is nothing but it is a real world thing or place or object it is a real world thing or object or place okay if i take an example of a student student is an entity if you take an example of a uh, teacher teacher is an entity if you take an example of a department it is an entity okay then what do you mean by attributes it is a real world property it is a real real world property attributes humne padhe okay so attributes and the last one is relationship relationship so relationship is what how to attributes are related how to attributes are related in the entities or within the entities within the entities now to explain you this let me show you an er diagram the er diagram will give you the understanding that the teacher working in the department so er diagram is related with the teacher working in the department this diagram er diagram will clear your concept see here i am drawing the er diagram i am drawing the two entities entities are shown in the rectangles entities are shown in the rectangles so the which are the two entities the two entities are teacher the other entity is the department the other entity is the department okay now to uh, describe the teacher what attributes i am taken i have taken some four attributes see i am gradually developing the er model sorry er diagram okay please remember entity attribute relationship first entity maine bana di do entity bana di teacher aur department abhi main attributes li bana raha hu kiska attribute bana raha hu teacher ka baad mein main attributes banaunga department ka aur last mein main bataunga relationship okay so see the attributes for teacher the attributes for teacher is now the attributes are shown in the oval rectangle in the oval rectangle in the oval rectangle so i am showing the attributes four attributes for the teacher i see there are different there are different notations please read in any, any of the book under the er model ki uh, entity kaise dikhaye jate hai rectangle mein uske attributes kaise dikhaye jate hai uh, oval rectangle mein then uske relationship kaise dikhaya jata hai in a diamond okay so that you can study in any of the book you will get the uh, different different notations okay so here teacher mein i am taking the first uh, this one attribute as teacher name then teacher id the teacher id then uh, the contact number contact number and the fourth attribute is your suppose the teacher salary as far as entity teacher is concerned four attributes i have taken for the department i am taking only two attributes i am taking only two attributes the attributes is department id department id and the second attribute is department name wo department ka kya naam hai डिपार्टमेंट का क्या नाम है एंड द रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन द टू एंटिटीज इज शोन बाय द काइट और डायमंड वर्क वर्क्स फॉर दिस टीचर वर्क्स फॉर दिस डिपार्टमेंट दिस टीचर वर्क्स फॉर दिस डिपार्टमेंट टेक टेक माय एग्जांपल माय नेम इज शोभित खंडारे ओके सो टीचर्स नेम इज शोभित खंडारे ओके 
i am working for which department i am working for extc department so this extc department may have may have some id this extc department uh, sorry the name is already here so the name of this extc department as uh, the name of the department is extc okay so the relationship between the department and the teacher the relationship between the extc department and shobit the relationship between the extc department as an entity we show it as an entity so the relationship is shown in this man works form so this is your er model this is your er model i hope you have understood this any question for er model any question for er model no sir okay now we have left with two models uh, two data uh, two models one is object based data model and the fourth uh, and the last one is semi structured data model okay so semi structured data model also you should know okay so object based i think semi structured data model is not there in your syllabus just a minute see here your syllabus the importance of data model introduction to various data model hierarchical network relational entity relationship and object model okay so there are business rules and the degree of data abstraction so you don't have uh, there is a semi structured data model is also there so that thing you don't have you have object model okay so i think we have left with only one that is object model so that thing we will study now that thing we will study now so we have to understand a uh, object based data model object based data model in this object based this is called as object based most of you have heard this word object in the different programmings okay where you have uh, functions where you have different notions uh of function encapsulation object uh, identity so whenever you have this uh, object oriented then that becomes a object based data model in this object based data model we have two models we have two models one is object oriented one is object oriented data model object oriented data model and the other one is object relational data model object relational data model okay <coughs> now when you talk about the object oriented data model <coughs> actually this ob uh, object oriented data model is uh, you know if you see properly this is an extension to the uh, entity relationship model it is an extension of er model it is extension of er model i'm talking about object oriented data model okay now this is an extension of the er model with notions of functions encapsulation and object identity as well okay so in this you have the notions of functions now this is all you must have studied in the object oriented programming function then encapsulation so jab main iska example lunga then you can be able to see the function then encapsulation then object identity object identity so these are all concerned with this particular object oriented data model now in this model uh, you know uh, both the data and the relationship are present in a single structure known as an object this is important so let me show you an example uh, i will take an example where you have employee this employee is an object okay now when you talk about this object oriented data model in this model both the data and the relationship are present 
in a single structure known as an object known as an object okay known as an object now there is an object of an employee and there is other object for department okay so there are two objects object ko apne kaise define kiya tha in the in this model both the data and relationship are present in a single structure known as an object so this is a single structure of an object of employee this is a single structure of an object of department now in this employee you have different different attributes so suppose the attributes are attributes are uh, the employee name the the job the salary and suppose the department department id okay so employee object if you see carefully in a single structure uh, of a object employee you have different different attributes name job salary and department id in the other object that is a department you have again different different attributes this different attributes are suppose uh, uh, department id department name department id and department name department id and department name okay now here i am showing only two objects employee and department and they are connected through a link now if you see carefully here you have four attributes name job salary and department id here you have two attributes department id and name in these two objects department id is common department id is common department id is common okay now department id is common so this common department id is connected through a single link so this is called as a link this is called as a link now this link is used to relate one object to the other object so here this link is going to show you the relationship between the employee and the department through this department id can i say through this department id this employee is related with this department yes abhi ye to maine sirf do hi aapko dikha hai object aise bahut sare objects hote hai aise bahut sare objects hote ओके ऐसे बहुत सारे ऑब्जेक्ट्स होते विद इन दिस ऑब्जेक्ट यू कैन जस्ट सी द लिंक बिकॉज ऑफ द कॉमन डिपार्टमेंट आई डी बिकॉज ऑफ द कॉमन डिपार्टमेंट आई डी सो इन दब्जेक्ट ओरियंटेड डेटा बेस यू कैन शो द रिलेशन बिटवीन टू ऑब्जेक्ट बाई यूजिंग दिस लिंक अब यहाँ पे सिर्फ एक लिंक है जो कॉमन है देन मे बी मोर देन वन लिंक देन मे बी मोर देन वन लिंक ओके एंड द रिलेशनशिप इज शोन बिटवीन द टू ऑब्जेक्ट्स one object to the other object one object to the other object so this is called as object oriented data model this is called as object oriented data model now the last one is object relational data model this object relational data model is again the extension of object oriented plus relational model so object oriented plus relational model will give you object relational data model again i am repeating object oriented data model with the extension of relational model will give you object relational data model now in this object relational data model uh, 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 nothing to be explained more because this is more complex data type or uh, it can be formed by a complex method and because of this complexity this is difficult to handle okay so under this object based data model you have to i have explained you the object oriented data model this is important one this is more complex and this is actually uh, actually used in the web uh, web uh, applications okay object relational data model and being more complex it is difficult to handle okay so this is all about your object based data model i think we have covered all the data model there is one semi structured data model but that is not part of your syllabus so i am not going to take that part we are left we have to complete only relational data model entity relationship data model then uh, 
yeah, the older models were hierarchical model and the network model already we have taken and the object based data model there, there are two object oriented and object relational any question from your side any question from your side <coughs> no sir object model yes in the syllabus you have only object model so ha huh, now the next time we'll be talking about the basic building blocks business rules and degree of data abstraction this also thing this thing also we have to cover okay basic building blocks business rules and the degree of data abstraction so i think this thing we will take in the uh, next lecture if you see carefully in the third module there is a database design for er model okay so er model and its constraints er diagram erd issue weak entity sets so this thing we have to study in the next module to maine sirf aapko introduction kiya hai er diagram ke bare mein er model ke bare mein एंटिटी रिलेशनशिप मॉडल के बारे में उसके डिटेल में हमको अगर पढ़ना है तो वी हैव टू गो विद द थर्ड मॉडल तो दैट थिंग वी विल सी इन द कंसेक्यूटिव लेक्चर्स बट इन द नेक्स्ट लेक्चर विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट द बिल्डिंग ब्लॉक बिजनेस रूल एंड डिग्री ऑफ डेटा एब्स्ट्रैक्शन अटेंडेंस हो गया कि देखो एक बार अटेंडेंस हो गया कि देखो एक बार <coughs> प्रियंका मैम आई थी क्या अटेंडेंस लेने ईशा हाँ सर अटेंडेंस हो गया ना हाँ हो गया होगा बट उन्होंने डाला नहीं है आ, एक मिनट मुझे चेक करने दो Just don't leave. Let me ask first. Attendance is why? Okay. Don't leave. Yes, attendance has been taken. Everyone can leave. If you have any questions, you can stay back. Others can leave. Thank you. <coughs> 